if what you're saying to me is that a child of yours committed a very bad act, and I'm not putting that in this circumstances. This was wrong. It was the wrong thing to happen. I'm talking about a very bad act. And if they tell you about it immediately, or you find out, you find blood on their clothes or stolen property in your house, and they tell you about it, and then the police, for whatever reason, don't conduct an investigation appropriately, that does not diminish the fact that there was a wrongful act done. I understand. And that's for you, too. The fact that you weren't officially told until a week later when somebody came and told you, as far as I'm concerned, you pick up the phone as soon as you have the conversation with your child. You say, give me the name of the person whose phone you were involved with, and I'm going to contact them and make this right. Absolutely. That's not what you did. Well, it was the beginning of spring break. The next day, there was no school. So it was the weekend. So what? So who do I contact? The school he is not open. He knows the boy's name. Well, we don't have the boy's no, phone number. Second. My son does not have a phone. We don't have his phone number. Do you have I a phone? I don't know just his parents. Second. Do you have a phone? I do have a phone. Great. What I'm telling you is you had nothing but time to get Isaiah's information. From where? From who? The school does Mr. not give us Mr. that information. Wilson, again, it's somebody else's fault. It is. And what I'm... No! It's his fault and Isaiah's fault. That's what this says, and if you read between the lines, that's what he told me. And according to this, Isaiah threw it, but he also threw it. He was made to say that, though, and that's very important. Mr. Wilson, understand something. He was involved. He was wasn't he involved. Oh, His only okay. involvement was oh, picking okay. up the phone, trying to find the rightful owner, someone coming up to him, bullying him, taking the phone, throwing it on the ground, him being taken to the office and being accused of something that they know he didn't do. But I'm... they said if he did not say he did it, then he would be arrested. Did you, just a second, did you hear the police say that to him? I did well, not have no, to hear it. No, just a second. Your Honor. No, I'm I didn't. asking Your you Honor. if you... I'm I asking you... I did not hear Your the Honor. police say that, nor was I even able to be in the room with him while he was being investigated by police, and that's Your not Honor. right. Just when a second. Police... I, just a second. Mr. Wilson, I'm not disagreeing with you that if a parent was not present, a 12-year-old should not be questioned by the police. What I'm... They never I just. Us. I'm sorry. Just a second. Never you're us. not following me. I'm following you. No, you're not following me, Mr. Wilson, because a 12 year old who's smart, and your son isn't stupid, is he? No, he's, he's very not. very intelligent. He's very intelligent. If I found a phone on the floor, I would take the phone and take it to a teacher, walk it to the principal's office, and say, I just found this phone on the floor. Well, the reason why... No, no. You are going to give me the reason why now? Well, he was, Just... well, what my son said to me was that he was... Most of the kids that are in his sixth period are in his seventh period. So he was asking around on his way to seventh period to uh, see if I'm, he could give the phone back. I, and what I'm telling and you is... And met Isaiah in the process. And what I'm telling you is... You could make a million and one excuses. Sure. And what you're doing, you're saying, is it's the police's fault? It's no. the principal's fault. That's not no. what I'm saying. It's the That's holiday's fault. Saying. No. It's the fault that we That's didn't have. It's saying. everybody else's fault. That's not That's what I'm saying. That's not what we're Good. saying. I'm Good. saying he could have made Great. a different decision, but at the end of the day, Great. he had no malicious intent, and it wasn't his fault <laughs> that someone well, took that's the very phone good. and threw you've it just, on the ground. You've just crept into his mind, Mr. Wilson. I know Ms. how Lynch, he was raised. Just a second. Miss Lynch told the police she was going to pay Mr. Huckabee $400. That's exactly what she's going to do. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $400. We're done. Thank you. I deserve excuse. You may step out.